The chief catalyst in my vegan journey, my vegetarian journey in 2006, was this type of food, this type of meal. This one here is vegetable chetinadu. I absolutely love this dish and the taste, but the health benefit most of all really brings it home to me. And so here I like to put uh, my ingredients in the middle of the rice. You can eat it any kind of way. There are different ways to do it, but I like doing it this way. Occasionally I will do some naan, but I prefer kolcha. I love kolcha. Uh, the stuffed type with onion and or, you know, some other ingredients. But here's a slightly different take with vegetable jalfrezi, right? And we have all kinds of vegetables mixed in here in a very rich sauce, right? And so got some stuffed, stuffed bread here, uh, stuffed with onions. Absolutely well done. Everything is freshly made. And so when I go on my vegan journey, my vegetarian journey, and again, I don't ascribe to those labels, I look for ingredients that are going to be fresh, that are going to be natural. And I eschew and I push away processed oils and thick breads and processed sugars, right? And, you know, you can find alternatives to those, right? In this case, we have bread that is freshly made, properly made, that is not artificial, and that's not going to be, um, have negative impacts on your digestive system and the way that your body processes food, right? And so here, the combination is good because we have sweetness in the mixture here, and it all works well for the bodily system. This is chana masala. It's one of my foods that I turn to when I uh, break a fast, right? And so chana masala is one of my top foods for breaking a fast. And I absolutely love uh, this dish. It's very simple, but if it's done right, which it is here, it's done in an exceptional way. Um, and in the uh, background, you see this bread that's this ultra thin bread that's actually stuffed with other ingredients. Absolutely phenomenal, right? This is dal tatka. It is one of the tastiest things you will ever taste. It is lentil soup, essentially. It's a lentil soup that has tremendous health value. And if it's done right, right, it's one of those things that you can consume when breaking a fast, for example. But even in ordinary, ordinary course of, of, you know, going about your day, going about your life, um, it's a really great accompaniment to any meal. But in this case, it's a meal unto itself. And this particular preparation was rich with spices. That's where the tatka part comes in, where you have an infusion of the flavor of the herbs to get the maximum health benefit as well as taste. So, absolutely phenomenal. But now we're gonna look at some of my real favorites, right? So, I had the opportunity to uh, visit a buffet and I was surprised to see that one still was around in 2023. I don't know for how long, but the food was absolutely phenomenal. I was so amazed at how good this was and I was able to you know, get multiple plates, right? And just try different things, you know? So it was um, a really uh, great experience. They had chana masala on tap, right? And so this was a really uh, great moment, a great opportunity. Uh, shout out to all of those uh, big time tech firms out there looking for a great perk for uh, the, the tech workers, right? It's like, hey, uh, put some of this uh, stuff on tap and just have a a 24-hour buffet indoors, I think you could really do something there. But I like the, the uh, because I used to do this, you know, many years ago before the buffets of this type, you know, started to shut down, right? And this was one of my best ways to, um, you know, really fuel and power that uh, vegetarian vegan journey, as you, as you might call it, right? But in recent years, I've been able to look at these types of preparations and be inspired by them 
in terms of the type of dishes that I would make my own, right? But sometimes you just can't make anything that comes even close to the level of this type of preparation. We're talking about flavor. We're talking about health. We're talking about the, the quality and the mastery of being able to put the different elements together. So as we conclude on this one, uh, this is Pev Puri. It's called street food, and I really like these little little uh, puffs. But this is one of the tastiest things I've ever had. It's Bell Puri, and oh my goodness, this this is really good. Uh, chickpeas and uh, peanuts and onions and some kind of sauce that um, I can't nail it down what what the composition is. I've asked, but I don't remember uh, what that combination is. But it is absolutely tasty and scrumptious and all of the core essential adjectives I could come up with.